The standard chip kit for the Sensit P400 includes the instrument, the instruction manual, four AA batteries, a combination Phillips and 332nd screwdriver, and the calibration adapter. We also have here the optional confined space kit, which includes the pump assembly, probe, and 10 feet of tubing with the hydrophobic filter. To install the batteries, we need to remove the battery cover with a Phillips screwdriver. and install the four AA batteries, observing the polarity markings. And reinstall the battery cover. We can then power the instrument on by pressing and holding the upper right button or the circle button. There will be a system check followed by a brief warm up period. The instrument will auto zero, and we will be at the working display with our gas readings. Before use, we need to check the integrity of the dust filter. If necessary, we can remove the cover using the 332nd screwdriver. And make sure the filter is intact and not excessively dirty. It is also recommended to do a bump test with a known concentration of gas, and then we will be ready for use. If we need to enter a confined space, we can attach the pump assembly to the face of the instrument, and tighten down the thumb screw. We will then need to do a full block check, so we can attach our probe assembly and block the three intakes at the end of the probe and wait for the instrument to indicate flow blocked. Also ensure that the hydrophobic filter in the probe assembly is intact, that it's not broken or excessively dirty. If it is, it will need to be replaced. To remove the pump assembly, we can first remove our probe, loosen the thumb screw, and remove the pump. 
We will need to acknowledge that we've removed it by pressing and releasing the upper right or circle button. During use, pressing and releasing any button will turn on a backlight for 30 seconds. And pressing and holding any button for about two seconds will save the data on the screen. By default, the P400 comes with IDS installed or the immediate detection system. This gives the user an extra indication below the low alarm point in the form of an audible tick. We can access the user menu by pressing and holding the bottom two buttons. And in here, for example, we can auto zero the instrument in a cleaner environment by scrolling with the arrows to auto zero and selecting with the circle button. To power off the instrument, allow the sensors to clear out in a clean air environment, and then press and hold the top two buttons until the instrument powers off.